as a flag bearer with transformative ideas key to propelling this country. A lot later, Electoral Commission announcing, announces reforms to decongest collation centers across all constituencies in the country, saying it will not allow polling station election materials to be conveyed to constituency collation centers. Details shortly. Anyway, those are our top stories. This is New Central. I'm Kevin Yamana. And I am Mawen Aigbeta. The bulletin starts right now. This is your election command center and in our first story, the National Peace Council will this afternoon meet political parties and their presidential candidates to sign a peace pact to ensure a peaceful electoral process with only nine days to the crucial 2024 general elections. The agreement will require the various presidential candidates to commit to maintaining Ghana's peace before, during and after the polls. Uh, the Presidential Peace Pact is the fourth to be signed since the 2012 general elections. By signing the Peace Pact, political parties and their leaders pledge to respect the electoral process, accept the outcome of the elections and resolve any disputes that may arise through peaceful means. Well, in the last few weeks, we know that the opposition NDC has given some uh, conditions to be met before it will sign this year's peace pact. In August, the NDC outlined six conditions for its involvement, including the requirement for the president, the inspector general of police, the chief justice, the national security coordinator, and the attorney general to also sign the agreement. Now, this year's peace pact is themed pursuing peaceful elections, nonviolence, and justice. And that's why I want to bring in now the Deputy General Secretary of the NDC, Mustafa Gbandi. Uh, Mustafa, pleasure talking to you this afternoon here on News Central. Are you signing the Peace Pact? Thank you very much, and good afternoon to your cherished listeners. The NDC and its leader, His Excellency John Damani Mahama, have always remained an embodiment of peace as far as our democratic practices are concerned. We have stated the last meeting we had with Peace Council, the NDC clearly outlined some of the unresolved issues upon which we are hesitant to sign on this peace fight. Because we believe that the real architect of our peace process must be brought to the table. Mm -hmm. We must all commit to professionalism. We must all commit to ensuring that for once the right thing is done. At the back of this, the NDC is having hanging of staff of eight people that were killed in the 2024 election. And we do not, in the 2020 election, we do not want a repetition of sin. And so leadership of the party with the flag bearer will today be at the Peace Council meeting, we'll discuss the existing resolved and unresolved issues, and we'll take a decision at that level. Right. So, uh, Mustafa, as it stands now, the NDC is uncertain about whether or not it will sign the peace pact uh, that all the political parties will be putting their signatures to later this afternoon. Is that the case? Well, I, I do believe that uh, I, clearly, some of the things were done. Um, they have increased the number of signatures who will be committed to the process. And also, because it represents a symbolism to be characterized by our commitment for a peaceful election, we don't think that they are clearly 
uh, extreme issue that we cannot resolve at this point because we have come a long way with the electoral right. commission. So, so, so Mustafa, you we will have... sign the peace pact because certain conditions well, I, have been met. It, it, it will be for His Excellency, the flag bearer, who is the leader of the party, and the general secretary, who will be at that meeting, depending on the conversation, will take a decision that will represent the image of the party, that will represent our commitment into the party because I don't think that the peace pact sacrifices our ability to be vigilant in the election. I do not think that the peace pact is telling us to go and sleep when the MPP is doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. No. We want to see President Takufado really committed to ensuring that there is no violence from his party against anybody in the election. No journalist must be attacked. No police officer must be attacked. Mm -hmm. No voter must be attacked. And that is what the MPP is pursuing. I see. I see, Mustafa, you've had the opportunity to meet uh, the police uh, and, and the IGP, you, you know, to be specific. Haven't you had the, the kind of assurances you're looking for? Haven't you got that from the IGP already? That's why I said that the leadership of the party led by His Excellency John Gaman in Hama is closely reviewing the combined effect of all the discussions and will continue seeing this afternoon. If it gets to the point where they are satisfied that our back is covered, the MPP's back is covered. Why not? I believe that we will fight. Very well. We'll leave it here. Thank you so much, Mustafa. Mustafa Gbandi is Deputy General Secretary for the NDC, who says that the party will take a final decision on whether or not to sign the peace pact this afternoon.